Yeah, so the first thing we have to do is we have to get, uh, we have to get our uh, bearings uh, in place so that when we cut everything free, it doesn't actually fall off the wing. And then, and then we come in here and in these locations right here, we actually make a saw cut right here against this gusset in every location except for the tip here. Here we actually saw just through here um, because we want to retain this plywood here on the outside. So we'll just make a saw cut through here and through here, but everywhere else. And then the, the piece, when it fits in, it'll actually just rest right here on this ledge. Um, but then it fits completely here and here and here. So we do that all the way down. Um, could put the uh, bearing in place at the center. It's really not necessary, not for this step anyway. It's more important to have it uh, have it at the uh, at the tip and the root. So we'll get those. Uh, we we'll get that hardware out, and we'll get that in place, and then we'll uh, be able to take the little zona saw and um, start cutting this thing free. All right. Let me get some stuff here. All right. So I was going to show you real quick. I actually had to I had to relieve a little bit of uh, of this member right here for the. Uh, for the bolt to get all the way through there. So um, just kind of did that with a um, kind of a zip bit on the uh, on the Dremel tool. And I actually had to had to do that on both sides um, because when you uh, when you put the nut in a washer, uh, you just have a few threads sticking out. So I really couldn't uh, go with a smaller size bolt. So. But I've got that all taken care of, so now it's just a matter of getting uh, getting this in place here. Um, and as you probably saw before, um, the way this goes is the this piece goes on the bearing bracket, and then you get some A and three three dash six. They go through here. And then a washer and a nut and uh, and that will uh, hold this all together. And I'm not going to bother putting the nut on uh, these um, cap screws that are holding the uh, holding the 4130 tubing here for this bracket to pivot on they are um, pretty tight going in so I'm not going to actually put a bolt on those their only job is just to is just to hold all of this in place so the aileron doesn't come dropping off as I'm sawing it so uh, and Interestingly enough, as I'm putting these uh, washers and screws on, um, like happened on the on the strut tube connections over there, it looks like uh, these these bolts are going to need to go up one size as well because it doesn't look like I'm going to have any uh, any threads sticking out by the time I get these tight. But we'll see here. Yeah, that's definitely the case. So these bolts are going to have to go up one size as well. So uh, maybe when these plans were done by Wayne Ison a long time ago, maybe these uh, these nuts um, were thinner. These uh, lock nuts nylon with the nylon inserts. Not sure about that. Um, but that could be, I'm going to roll with that in my head anyway. So, all right. So now I'll go to the, uh, tip and I'll do the same thing. Get that one set up just like this one.
All right, so the goal here is to um, is to go ahead and cut all of the top ones, and then I'm actually gonna uh, flip the flip the wing over because what I've done is I've removed all the staples that were holding this leading edge sheeting in place. I removed all the staples on the top side, um, so when I flip the wing over, um, I'll actually be able to uh, cut this loose and also remove all the staples that are uh, on the leading edge on the bottom of the wing. So. Um, yeah, so I just want to slip in between here and cut this one first. You heard that snap but it uh, when you when you put your wing rib together actually you uh, purposely do not put epoxy between these two members just right here where this is and so it snaps and everything is uh, come loose exactly like it was supposed to so that's super good now we do the rest of them what I noticed was um, the plywood along the way here it just goes it goes in and out like one will be back just a touch more than the other so knowing which one to follow um, on these was not uh, super not super clear so what I did is I just snapped a uh, chalk line all the way down from the uh, very tip here all the way to the root and that way I can actually see um, exactly where I need to be uh, exactly where I need to be cutting so uh, that will uh, that will make sure that I have a nice straight line um, when I put the uh, when I put the piece in there the RS 17 so all right so back to it All right, so those are all cut loose. So all I have to do now is, uh, all I gotta do now is get, um, I'll pull these uh, pins and then we should be able to just uh, bring her right out, so.
And there she is. Okay. So that's a uh, that's a super cool thing to do. Get that pulled apart, and now um, all right. So now I'm just going to pull all of these staples um, on the bottom side. All right, so I'll get those, I'll get those all taken out, and uh, then I will, um, I'll be back, and we'll see, uh, we'll see what else we want to do. So, all right. All right, so the next step is to come in here and actually cut each of these, uh, each of these off, um, basically just kind of following the line of um, this member here, so I can just like kind of lay the blade in there. And, uh, and cut each of those. Um, so I have to go all the way down here and cut all those off. And then the next uh, the next thing I'll be able to do is just kind of round everything off and get this leading edge here ready to be uh, ready to be sheeted with the uh, uh, the smaller. Um, the smaller plywood which uh smaller thinner plywood <laughs> it's actually uh it's actually an uh, 0.8 millimeter uh 0.8 millimeter ply and that uh so we get a little thinner a little thinner wrap on the leading edge of the aileron than we do on the uh on the wing obviously and then we'll uh yeah, we'll 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 be moving right along here. So that's the that's the goal. Same process. Get this whole uh, get this whole um, section cut off, rounded off, prepared, um, and then after that's done, um, we'll um, finish the wood uh, with the bare thing, just like we did on the leading edge of the wing. We'll finish the inside of the plywood the same way we did, um, and we'll line everything up. We'll preform the uh, preform the 0.8 millimeter plywood um, in a similar way, although um, we won't use an actual form. We'll just put a couple of boards uh, down on the bench and they'll kind of bow and go between them. Um, and that will uh, hold that and they'll probably pull them a little closer together. So we actually over we overdo it a little bit so that they come closer to holding that shape. Words. I sort of remember that from the last time I did this. So anyway, I will get busy cutting these off and we'll um, we'll go from there. How cool to have the aileron separated. It's a it's a big uh, it's a big milestone. So all right, let's do this. <laughs>
All right, so now I'm just gonna take some sandpaper uh, and I'm just gonna work these, uh, work where I've cut these kind of into the wood here. And since I have a little uh, laser burn on these, I can make sure that I'm not sanding any of this away um, until I want to actually clean that up. Um, so I'll just, uh, just gonna go down each one of these and get it rounded into this uh, member right here, the RS4, I believe, um, because when the plywood comes over, it actually gets stapled to this RS4. So I'll just make sure all these are smoothly fared into that on uh, both sides. And then, uh, uh, yeah, that'll be great. All right, so I got, uh, I got all of these, uh, got all of these fared in nice, um, like I wanted them. Um, you can see, you can see there. And I think the next thing I'm gonna do, um, but I'm gonna pick this up uh, next time. Uh, I'm out of time today, so. Um, but hey, I got. I'm really happy with uh, uh, with what I got done today, so I got nothing to complain about. But anyway, um, what I'm gonna do is, if I roll this on the table this way, I can actually look under here. And I can see that this one, um, this piece right here at the end just needs to be taken a little bit off because until I get to the next uh, quarter inch piece, these are kind of floating above the table just a little bit, maybe 32nd of an inch or so. And when I get down there, I can see a little bit of gap. Um, so I'll just kind of use my table to just kind of even those out a little bit. Uh, to make sure that the front of this uh, aileron, everybody is touching nicely and I may be able to do it with a kind of a long straight edge as well. So um, yeah, but uh, thanks so much for checking out the video today. I do appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss anything. And as always, hey, I'll catch you later.